Hi guys, so we're gonna get started with my white strips. I'm actually applying the Crest White Strips Advance and I'm jumping into my primer. I know a lot of you said, said that this isn't a primer, it's a pore filler, but whatever, it's the benefit one. And then I'm using the Lancome Foundation, the Taint Idol Ultra 24 Hour Makeup. And I have this in the color 230 Buff and I am just blending this in with the Beauty Blender and it is a damp beauty blender. So I applied the primer or the pore filler just to the areas where I normally get like larger pores. I love this foundation, it's a matte finish, so I don't apply my Makeup Forever powder over. This is the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in Light, and I am also blending that out with my Beauty Blender. How are you guys, by the way? Um, today is Thanksgiving, so happy Thanksgiving to everyone. Um, I'm grateful for everyone in my life, so I'm super duper happy with everything. So yeah. This thing is going really fast, sorry. This is a Lorac eye primer. It came with my Lorac Pro Palette, and I am just blending that out. I'm not really crazy about it, but I have to use stuff that I normally don't use. First, I'm going in with gold from the Lorac Pro Palette. You can use, like, the NYX Gold Pigment, but I sprayed some Fix Plus by MAC onto this Eco Tools brush so I can make it really vibrant, and so the color can really stand out. These colors are very pigmented, but this kind of makes it like a pigment rather than just a shadow so it will stay on. This is Texture by MAC. I just got this, and this is an e.l.f. Um, I think this is a blending brush. I'll list everything down below, like always, but I'm pretty sure this is a definition brush, or let me see. This is the, actually is the contour brush, so I'm using that just to blend, and then I'm going in with my MAC brush to actually really blend that out with the 224. I love this brush. I do have a brush video coming up, but for now, I'm just telling you guys, you have to get this brush. It's the best one. And I'm really out of breath. So, yeah. <laughs> so, just blending that out. And now I'm using this color. This is an orange color. This is Rule by MAC. And I'm applying that with the Sonia Kashuk. No, not Sonia Kashuk. This is the Real Techniques um, Dome Shadow Brush. I have so many brushes that I forget the names. I just, I just pick whatever. Like, I normally just pick anything that I see honestly, but this is an orangey color to kind of blend it out. Um, and I'm using this MAC brush. This is the number 217. And now I'm applying the gold over again. This is from the Lorac Pro Palette with the Eco Tools brush. And I'm also using it as an inner highlight, which I normally don't do. This is a Flawless Concealer Brush by e.l.f. just to really blend everything out. And I love this bl blush, this brush. I don't know what's wrong with me. I'm really tired. Um, more concealer to clean up the edges of my eyeshadow. Just to kind of make like a crispy look. I normally never use eye um, tape to do my eyeshadow. This is Lingering by MAC. This is what I use for my eyebrows. And I love the precision of this brush. It really like makes my eyebrows stand out. And I know they look a little crazy right now. But once I put on my lashes, they look much better. Girl, this wine is killing me right now. <laughs> I'm trying to do this voiceover, and it's just... <laughs> but let's get it. Okay, so I'm doing my eyebrows now. I'm using the Lorac Eyeliner. This is... I don't even know what Lorac Eyeliner. It's the one that comes with the palette if you buy it at Ulta. I think it's like the pro to go. I'm not sure, but it's the only one I think they have. It's just like a felt tip. And I'm doing my eyeliner pretty dramatic. I'm not doing it thick, but I'm doing it like outwards. I'm trying different like eyeliner techniques just to see what looks best on my eye. This eye actually messed up a little bit, but off camera I fix it because you're going to see in a second I do it a little bit too, not pointy, but it just looks a little odd. So right here you can see I, with, I'm not trying to hold my eye um, when I do my eyeliner. I'm trying to do it without holding my skin just so I don't create wrinkles. But it's really, really hard to do it like freelance, like it was solo with no holding your eye. Now I'm using the Jordana Mascara. This is the Best Lash Extreme. I get this at Dwayne Reed. I always use this one. Applying a thin coat because I'm going to be applying my Kiss Lashes, my favorite ones. This is MAC Feline. I am tight lining with it and just putting it on the upper lash line. I'm not doing it on the bottom. So this is the eyelash number KPE10 by Kiss. And I'm using the Revlon. Dark Lash Adhesive Glue, and I love these lashes. My favorite lashes by far for now, like, these are my favorites. My go-tos, and they just are natural yet dramatic. They look really girly, 
and they have the perfect amount of flair. So again, they're the KPE10, and I get them at online or at a drugstore or like um, like a beauty supply store, basically. So you should be able to find them. This is Bare Minerals Well Rested with my Real Technique setting brush, and this is my holy grail step. I have to do this every time I do my makeup, and this really brightens up the under eye. This is Max Teddy eyeliner, and I love this. It has a little bit of a glimmer, like a little shine to it. It has like little small glitters, and I didn't want to use black. I wanted to go with browns today since it's Thanksgiving. Now I'm using Sable to just put some um, definition on the bottom of my eye so I can kind of balance it out because the top is a little heavy. So I always want to create some like bottom definition. And that is an e.l.f. brush. And then I'm applying a little bit of the gold on the inner eye. And this is just a random e.l.f. brush. I think it was like three bucks. So now I'm doing my, this is going really fast, guys. I'm like really out of breath. This is the Jordana Mascara Best Lash Extreme on my lower lash line and to blend my falsies and my regular lashes to just make it look like one. I've been really into lower lash mascara. I really like to take my time with it because it just creates the biggest difference. This is the Gourlain Terracotta Bronzer. I actually changed it again and I'm not happy with it. This is number two. And it's a little bit too orangey, but I'm just trying to make it work here. I'm using my Walmart brush and just kind of making my skin look a little bit more tan because I'm really, really pale. On the camera, it doesn't really pick it up, but I'm much more tanner in person. The camera makes me look like I have nothing on. This is the YSL Rose Blush. I love this quad. I broke it, but this is a Walmart brush, and I think this is perfect for the winter. Sometimes I don't like wearing a really pinky blush. This is the perfect, like, rosy, mauve color, so it looks really good. This is Soft and Gentle with the e.l.f. Blush Brush. Even though it's really small, I use it for my highlight. And I just want to use the product that I don't normally pick up, so I'm trying to use up the stuff I have in my collection. So here I'm using L'Oreal True Match Cocoa Powder to just kind of blend out and smoke out my lower lash line. This is Wet n Wild Bear It All for my lipstick and then I'm applying this lip liner this is by Rimmel and this is in the color I don't know I'll put it down below actually no I'm lying this is by Essence this is in the nude and then this is a hard candy lip gloss I'll put everything down below this is my MAC blunt blush but I use it for a contour with my Sephora Pro contour brush number 74 just to kind of define my cheeks a little more. For Thanksgiving, you want to look good for the pictures, girl. You want to look like you have some cheeks. So this is just my brush with no product. This is new. This is my NARS, like, invisible setting powder. I absolutely love it. I just got it. I'm trying it out. But it definitely makes a big difference. Now for my hair. Oh, actually, no, I'm lying. <laughs> a little more blending of the blush because it was a little too crazy in person. Actually... Yes, now hair. Okay, this is my Babyliss Pro Titanium Straightener. I'm just curving out my ends to give it a little bit more flair. I did cut my hair into layers. I mean, I always had layers, but I just cut the edges. This is my bangs, guys. This is how I do my bangs. I know it's kind of hard to tell in the camera. I'm sitting too close to it, but I just flip it backwards, and then I'm using my favorite hairspray to, like, make it stay. This is, you really need to hairspray it because it's, not going to stay if you have really fine hair like mine. Um, my hair is naturally pretty straight, but it's frizzy. So I just straighten it and then curve the edges. I did get my hair done, so that's why it looks like that. This is the Kenra Pro 25 Volume Hairspray. Holy grail. Love it. It is $18 at Ulta, but it's so, so worth it. It really, really makes your hair flip, stay just the way you put it. And I absolutely love it. So just spraying that to give some volume. This is MAC Myth, and I've been, like, obsessed with putting this in the inner part of my lips and all over, but just, like, really concentrating it. This is my Micro Kors Lexington watch and my Nordstrom's Pave Square earrings that everyone thinks are, like, real diamonds, but they're not. So, hey, girl. <laughs> so now for, though, this is the look, my eye look. I'm going to show you guys my outfit in a couple of seconds. giving you some face. So my fur vest is from Forever 21. I got it online. My jacket is from Zara. My pants are from, where are my pants from? American Eagle. My shoes are from Zara. No, not Zara. <laughs> I'm just talking 
crazy right now. My shoes are from Steve Madden, and my purse is a Louis Vuitton purse. My rings are from H&M, and I'm going to show you guys my shirt in a second, but my best friend actually filmed this for me, so this is my outfit. It was really, really cold, guys, so I actually take off my jacket, but it's like 25 degrees here in New York, so yeah, I was freezing here. <laughs> this is a shirt from Zara. Again, pants are from American Eagle. And my shoes are from Steven by Steve Madden. And I showed you guys my makeup. And my hair is dyed black. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. I will see you in the next one. Bye, guys. Mwah.